When we dive into the world of birds and penetrate their hidden secrets, we find ourselves on an exceptional adventure that gives us the opportunity to explore and experience the diversity and magnificence of wildlife. It is always said that beauty is in the details and that there is magic in every natural corner that seems ordinary at first. But with every step we take into this amazing environmental world, we realize that beauty is not just a word, but rather a unique experience. Today, we will take you on an enchanting and immersive journey into a hidden and special world, the world of a flying creature that lives deep in the forests and defies scientific classifications with the splendor of its birds and the colors of its feathers. This mysterious and dazzling creature appears before us like an artistic painting on nature's canvas. He has his own appearance and unique behavior, but he holds many secrets waiting for us to discover together. On this exciting journey, we will explore this fascinating creature, revealing the details of its life and its strange and beautiful habits. You will immerse yourself in his world with us and learn about everything that makes him unique among the inhabitants of the forests and tropics. This brilliant being has long remained hidden from the eyes of the world, but today he will take us on a special journey into his different world. Are you ready to discover these natural treasures and meet this wonderful bird? Birds of Paradise are one of the most surprising and impressive natural creatures in the bird world. It is a unique group of flying creatures that attract attention with their bright colors and strange shapes. The majority of Bird of Paradise species are found in the tropical dense forests of eastern Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and eastern Australia. The number of known species in the Paradise City family is about 45 species distributed into 17 genera. The beauty and diversity of birds of paradise make them the focus of interest for many bird enthusiasts and ecologists alike. In this context, we will explore more features of these fascinating creatures, from their distinctive beak structure to their unique reproductive patterns. Birds of paradise are distinguished by their unique beak, which resembles a brown sickle in shape and has a distinctive curve. These birds are related to the Corvidae family and vary in size among different species. Some species have a long curved beak, long, such as the sickle bird and the gun bird, while others have a smaller, more slender beak, such as the Australian winchbill. There is great variation in beak shape between species, and beaks may be long and curved in some cases, while small and thin in others. Male birds of paradise usually have larger beaks than females, and these differences are pronounced in some species and less pronounced in others. The wings have a rounded shape, and in some species the wings are structurally modified on males to produce distinctive sounds. There is also great diversity in plumage between the sexes, with males typically having attractive, contrasting colors, while females of some species are dimorphic with duller colors that enable them to blend into the environment. Younger males usually have plumage similar to females and do not attain full adult plumage until after seven years. These dull plumage allow them protection from predators and reduce the aggression of adult males. Birds of paradise, these charming and mysterious creatures, belong to the family Paradisiidae and form part of the order Passeriformes. The majority of these species are found in eastern Indonesia, Papua New Guinea and eastern Australia, this family contains approximately 45 distinct species divided into 17 different species. Perhaps the most prominent examples of this family are known for the magnificent plumage of the males, most of whom are distinguished by their sexual diversity and overwhelming beauty. Males of this species often have the thinnest and longest feathers extending from the beak, wings, tail, or head. They are mostly found in dense rainforests, where they are considered their native habitat. Fruit represents the main food for all species of birds of paradise, and to a lesser extent they feed on arthropods. Birds of paradise are characterized by diverse reproductive systems, ranging from monogamy to the formation of polygamous relationships for some species. 
there are many species threatened with extinction due to poaching and loss of natural habitats. Although previously classified as part of the Australian Corvidae lineage, the closest evolutionary relatives of birds of paradise include the crow and bird family Corvidae, the royal flycatchers Monarchidae, and the Australian mudbirds Struthididae. In the world of ornithology, the birds of paradise family has been the subject of multiple studies and research to determine the exact boundaries of this wonderful family. This family represents an exciting and unique group of flying creatures that are spread in various regions of Southeast Asia and Australia. Over the decades, there has been controversy over the classification of some species and genera within this family. For example, satin birds were previously treated as a suborder of birds of paradise, but recent research has moved them into a separate family. The relationship of the monocoot bird with the family was also studied, and it was found that it is a member of the bird of paradise family despite its brown differences from other species. In addition, there have been speculations that some obscure species may also be part of this family, and some species such as McGregor's bird of paradise have been linked to birds of paradise as well. Recent molecular research has revealed valuable information about the relationships of species in this family, and some previous classifications have been corrected. Continuing studies and research in this field contributes to our deeper understanding of biodiversity and the evolutionary relationships between these fascinating creatures. The phenomenon of hybridization of birds of paradise is a striking phenomenon that contributes to a deeper understanding of the diversity of these wonderful creatures. Hybrids are when individuals of different species that share similar features and physical composition are mated. This phenomenon is more pronounced in areas where the ranges of different species can converge. When researcher Erwin Stressemann studied birds of paradise and discovered that hybridization might be one of the reasons for the rarity of some described species, he had to conduct many researches and studies to examine this hypothesis. In subsequent decades, it was determined that many species described in the 19th and early 20th centuries were likely hybrids. Although this is still a matter of dispute, Genetic studies and museum specimens will play an important role in better understanding this phenomenon. The center of Bird of Paradise diversity extends to the island of New Guinea, and most of its species are found in this region with the exception of only two species. These two species, which are from the genera Lycocorax and Semioptera, are found in the Maluku Islands, located west of New Guinea. As for rifle birds of the genus Ptiloris, there are two of them that live in the coastal forests of eastern Australia. One is found in Australia and New Guinea, and there is only one species in New Guinea. The other genus with a species outside New Guinea is Phonigamus, of which there is only one representative in far north Queensland. Most bird of paradise species are restricted to very small geographic areas especially those dependent on a specific habitat such as mid-mountain forests such as the black sickle or endemic islands such as the Wilson's bird of paradise. In general, these birds live in tropical forests, including rainforests, swamps, and moss forests. Almost all of them depend on trees to live and reproduce and are usually solitary and independent in their activities. High mountain habitats are the most common habitat for birds of paradise. Fruits of the genus Heptapelurum form an important part of the diet of the band-tailed Australia. Although birds of paradise may rely mainly on fruits and arthropods as a primary part of their diet, they also tend to eat small amounts of nectar and small vertebrates every now and then. Their food preferences vary in that about 30 of the 40 species can be found within an altitude range of 1,000 to 2,000 meters above sea level. One species to another, fruits dominate the diet of some species while others depend mainly on arthropods. Food preferences can influence the behavior of these birds. For example, frugivorous species tend to forage for fruits deep in forests, while insectivorous species tend to forage in mid-story areas. Even species that feed mainly on insects may consume large amounts of fruit. 
These birds play an important role in dispersing plant seeds in the forests of New Guinea, as they do not digest the seeds, but rather excrete them, mostly from their digestive system. Although food preferences vary among these species, they share the ability to use their feet as tools to manipulate and hold food. This behavior can allow them to preserve some fruits for later use as a food source. The difference between fruit types and food choices can have an impact on the proportion of mixed species in the forest and on the social behavior of these birds. Most species of birds of paradise have elaborate mating rituals that include complex behaviors that include vocal, movement, and bright color displays. These behaviors vary from one species to another and include exciting mating dances and visual displays that dazzle females. For example, the genus Paradise displays a complex mating system in which males compete to attract females through their dazzling displays, which include creating striking shapes using brilliant colors and distinctive vocalizations. <laughs> females play an important role in shaping the courtship behavior of males, with the majority of females preferring males who provide the best displays and most exciting displays. Males develop these distinctive behaviors and features, such as bright colors and complex sounds, to increase their chances of attracting females. For some species, it is the female who makes the decision regarding mating, so males compete extensively to attract females and achieve mating success. In addition, interspecific hybridization occurs frequently, indicating close relationships between different species of birds of paradise. Nest processes and details vary from one species to another. Nests are usually built from soft materials such as leaves, ferns, and vine branches, and placed in a tree fork. The typical number of eggs also varies from species to species, with larger species usually producing only one egg, while smaller species produce two to three eggs. After an incubation period of 16 to 22 days, the eggs hatch and the young leave the nest between the ages of 16 and 30 days. New Guinea communities commonly used bird of paradise plumes in their clothing and rituals. These columns were popular in Europe in centuries past and were used as decorations for ladies' hats. The search for these plumes and the destruction of their natural habitats continued, threatening the extinction of some species of birds of paradise. Today, habitat destruction due to deforestation is the main threat these birds face. Among the most famous bird of paradise species that have been famously used for this purpose is the genus Paradise, including the greater bird of paradise species known as the Apoda Paradise. This species was described from specimens brought to Europe by traders in the 16th century. Local traders prepared these specimens by removing their wings and feet for use as decorations. Unknown to the first European explorers who discovered these skins, the appearance of the skins often without feet or wings led to the belief that the birds never landed but were always kept aloft by their plumes. The birds were named birds of paradise as a result of these beliefs and the nomenclature of a Buddha, which means without feet. This novel is considered to be the origin of the term bird of paradise. In recent years, photos and videos showing birds of paradise on the Internet have generated increased interest among bird watchers around the world. Many of them travel to West Papua to see a variety of bird of paradise species, from Wilson's Birds of Paradise and Raja Ampat's Red Birds of Paradise to Lesser Birds of Paradise, Magnificent Rifle Birds of Paradise, and more. This increased interest has greatly reduced the number of local villagers who participate in hunting birds of paradise. Throughout the ages, birds of paradise have been repeatedly hunted, and it is believed that this hunting began since the beginning of human settlement in the region. It is noteworthy that males begin to mate opportunistically before their decorative plumage has grown, and this may be an adaptation to maintain population levels in the face of hunting pressures over the ages. Scientist and explorer Alfred Russell Wallace spent six years in the Malay archipelago and documented that region in a book published in the year 1869. 
His expedition team photographed, collected, and described numerous animal and bird specimens, including the great and royal birds of paradise and others. Hunting to use feather plumes for the hat trade was widespread in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. But nowadays, birds of paradise have legal protection that prohibits hunting unless it is sustainable and designed to meet the cultural and ceremonial needs of local indigenous people. In this hidden world, secrets remain under the darkness, and discoveries slowly unfold before the eyes of researchers and adventurers. We know that there is more and more to discover in this amazing world, so if you are interested in more mysteries and hidden places, stay tuned for more of our exciting videos. These trips would not be possible without your support and interest. We thank everyone who watched and interacted with us on this journey. If you have ideas or places you'd like us to explore, feel free to share them with us in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all new updates first. Thank you for following and participating in this exciting exploration, and we will see you soon on a new journey inside the hidden world.